Hey guys, John here from the Mishimoto Garage. Today we're going to be installing the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit for the 2016 Plus Mazda Miata. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube for more exclusive Miata content. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started on the install. Tools needed for install include 10 and 12 millimeter deep sockets, 6 inch 3 8 drive extension, 3 8 drive ratchet, 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, 27 millimeter wrench, short half inch extension, 1 and 1 16 inch deep socket, half inch torque wrench, flat and Phillips head screwdrivers, an aluminum 10B wrench, and manufacturer's approved quart of oil. Install time is about two hours, and install difficulty is a three out of five. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two Phillips head screws located on top of the front bumper. Remove the four large pop clips on top of the front bumper. You can use either a flathead screwdriver or a pop clip tool. Remove the four pop clips and one screw in each inner wheel well. Use a Phillips head screwdriver or 8mm socket and a flathead screwdriver. The four pop clips must be removed first. Pull the splash shield outward slightly to expose the screw. The screw holds the bumper cover to the fender. Use a Phillips head screwdriver or 8mm socket to remove them. Raise your Miata up with either a jack and jack stands or a lift. Using a Phillips head screwdriver or an 8mm socket, Remove the Phillips head screws located on the splash shield. Remove the two pop clips on the lower splash shield. Use either a flathead screwdriver or a pop clip tool. Locate the lip on the lower splash shield and gently pry that from the bumper so it hangs freely. Disconnect the wire harness for the turn signals. There is one tree clip holding it in place. Use either a flathead screwdriver or needle nose pliers. Bend the splash shield downward and locate the wire harness for the turn signals. Detach the tree clip by squeezing the backside and pulling outward from the wire harness. And then unplug the wire harness on both the driver side and passenger side. Use a 12 mm socket to remove the nine 12 mm bolts holding the aluminum splash pan underneath your Miata. Go ahead and remove the pan. Separate the front bumper from your Miata, but don't fully remove it yet. Disconnect the electrical connections for the driving lights on either side of your Miata. Remove the squeeze clip pop clips for both driving lights. An assistant may be needed to hold the bumper cover while you remove the squeeze tabs and harness plug. Now completely remove the front bumper. Go ahead and remove the two 10mm bolts on the front support bar. Now let's prep the oil cooler. Attach the three Mishimoto provided brackets to your oil cooler using the six 10mm bolts and nylock washers. You'll use either a 10mm wrench or a 10mm socket and a ratchet wrench. The longest bracket attaches to the bottom of the oil cooler on the passenger side. The medium sized bracket attaches to the upper left side of the oil cooler. The smallest bracket attaches to the upper right side of your oil cooler. At this time, you also need to prime the oil cooler. Fill the oil cooler until you can see the oil inside. If you are having trouble with this, follow the link in the description to see how to prime an oil cooler. Attach the oil cooler to the front support bar using the two 10mm bolts you removed earlier. Sandwich the mounting bracket to the support bar as shown here. You may need to temporarily disconnect the clip for the horn wiring harness on the support bar. With your Mishimoto provided hardware, you should have one remaining 10mm nut and bolt. This last nut and bolt is used to attach the oil cooler on the passenger side. Use a 10 mm socket and ratchet wrench to fully tighten the oil cooler in place. Using a strap wrench tool, remove the oil filter. Make sure to have a pan ready in case oil leaks. 
Have a towel ready once you remove the oil filter to clean up any excess oil and dirt that may be visible. Install the two Mishimoto provided banjo fittings onto the Mishimoto sandwich plate. Be sure to only hand tighten them so there is room for adjustments when the complete system is installed. Now we're ready to install the spacer and sandwich plate onto the engine. Be sure to orient everything as shown here. Before installing, make sure to lightly lubricate the o-ring on the black spacer and sandwich plate with a small amount of oil. Install the black spacer first, then the sandwich plate. The spacer gives enough clearance from the engine for the sandwich plate and banjo fittings. Install the stainless steel center bolt and hand tighten it. Feed the oil line fittings through the front of your Miata near the front sway bar until they reach the banjo fittings. The 45 degree fittings go to the sandwich plate, while the 120 degree fittings go to the oil cooler. We recommend routing the oil lines on top of the front sway bar to prevent any pinching of the oil line while the car is being operated. Hand tighten both 45 degree fittings onto the banjo bolts using an aluminum 10AN wrench. With the sandwich plate in the proper orientation, you can now fully tighten the stainless steel center bolt using a 27 millimeter socket and a torque wrench. Make sure to tighten to 35 foot pounds. Using a 27 millimeter wrench, fully tighten both of the banjo bolts. Next, fully tighten the 45 degree oil line fittings using an aluminum 10AN wrench. Now you can reinstall the oil filter. Lubricate the oil filter o-ring with a light film of oil before installing. Reinstall the aluminum splash pan using the 9 12mm bolts you removed earlier. The two metal pegs should be facing towards the back of your Miata. Route the first oil line down and around as shown and connect it to the closest oil cooler port. Make sure to just hand tighten the fittings for now. Route the longer oil line behind the oil cooler and front support bar but in front of the AC condenser. Now go ahead and fully tighten both of the oil line fittings onto the oil cooler using an aluminum 10AN wrench. Before installing your front bumper, double check all your connections. Make sure to check the routing of the oil lines and tighten all remaining bolts and nuts. Reinstall the front bumper on your Miata. Before fully attaching the front bumper, plug in your headlight harness and the tree clip as shown here. You may need an assistant to hold the front bumper. Reconnect the electrical connection for both passenger side and driver side headlights. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, install the two Phillips head screws on top of the front bumper by only a few threads and do not fully tighten. This allows for some movement of the front bumper cover for adjustment. Before you install the Phillips head screws, Locate the splash shield lip and make sure that it is above the pumper as shown here. Reattach the tree clips for the turn signals and connect the wire harness clip. Bend the lower splash shields downward and locate the wire harness for the turn signals. Attach the tree clips and then plug in the wire harness on both the driver side and passenger side. The harnesses have a squeeze tab so they should click back into place. Install the two pop clips onto the lower splash shields. Using either a Phillips head screwdriver or 8mm socket, fully tighten the 8 Phillips head screws on the splash shields. Install the 4 pop clips and 1 Phillips head screw for both inner wheel wells using a Phillips head screwdriver or an 8mm socket. There are 4 pop clips and 1 screw in each inner wheel well. Be sure to insert and fully tighten the screw first and then tuck in the plastic for the inner wheel well. Finally, reinstall the four pop clips. Go ahead and install the four large pop clips on the top of the front bumper. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, Fully tighten the two Phillips head screws on the top of the bumper. Start the engine, make sure the oil pressure light turns off and check for any leaks. Make sure to let your Miata get to operating temperature. After your Miata is turned off, check oil levels and leaks once again. 
Now that you've installed your new Mishimoto DirectFit oil cooler, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and take your ND out for a test drive. Also, don't forget to click subscribe and follow us on Facebook.